Hello guys. Today me and my team members are gonna present the present about environmental scan for a population-based service plan of Ilawara Shovelhorn, which is the local health district. And my name is Santosh Kothuri. And today we're gonna cover the topics of introduction and health issues of Ilawara Shovelhorn and also policy and planning like healthcare service plans and specific service plan and the transportation and financial plans and also current and demographic profile for Illawarra Shovel Hoven like population profiles and country of birth profile and occupational labor health labor labor force profile and also determinants of health like social gradient education and stress management and addiction also, burden of disease, morbidity rate, and mortality rate of Illawarra Shovelhoven, and also critical analysis of environmental scan. And I'm going to do the introduction part for this particular region called Illawarra Shovelhoven. So basically, this health district was actually formed in January 1st, 2011, with the area extends about 250 kilometers. And particularly in this region, they have the largest employers with a workforce of more than 7,000 across eight community health services like hospital sites and all. And Illawarra Shawan Howell plan, strategic plan was to set a clear direction for, to focus on serving, serving the community and delivering the high standard and safe and health services and you know planning for the future and the better better and good health with consumers. And the current population of this region is around 425,000 people, which, which has like 50.8% of population are female and 49.2% are male. And if you see the average age in this particular region is around 35 to 40, and more than 30% of residents are over 55 age. And when it comes to Aboriginal people in this particular area, in this particular region, are more than 13,500, 13,500 to 14,000, which is 3.5 of the whole population in this region. It is also identified that people who are living in this area are with obese than national average, and more than 150,000 residents, that, that actually comes around 65.9, are overweight. And if you can look at the screen here, this is the Illawarra Shoalhorn map, which goes north and Illawarra, southern and Shoalhorn. And uh, we have the hospitals and the community health services on the right side. And the major issues in Illawarra Shoalhorn are mental health, obesity, and health transport, and also drug and alcohol. And when it comes to mental health, not there is not enough you know, investment for to to treat the mental health, especially because young people are suffering more with this mental health problem. And also obesity, children from low income background where, where they have a lot of disadvantages and because of that reason, there's a high possibility of obese, especially in this area. And health transport. Across all types of health services told that transportation has become a major problem in this particular area. For example, if you have to go to at, at some to some place for a proper treatment and it has become a major problem, especially in regional areas like this. And drug and alcohol is one of the major problem too, because it impacts families and communities, you know. And this, this problem is with mostly experiencing the poverty and disadvantages, which is for them to find the access to the treatment is very hard. So these are the actual issues in Illawarra Shivalhaven at this time, at this point. And thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about policy and planning of Ilawara Soul Heaven, the policy 
the policy of Ilavara Sol Haven includes NSW government policy, uh, NSW health policy directives, NSW health guidelines, and work health and safety planning, planning, uh, health planning of the local health district needs current information on health profiles of the target population, and it should focus on how to improve the quality of healthcare and the internal and external environment. Internal environment of Ilawara Sol Haven includes primary acute and subacute care, emergency department, SK services, workforce demand and supply of general practitioner, nurses and allied health professionals, policies and planning, and the external environment consists of geographical condition, demography, economic status, policies that affect the functioning of health services and burden of disease. In regards with the internal and external environmental scan, Ilawara Sol Haven focuses on four strategic reforms that includes investing in contemporary patient-centered models of care, developing an integrated health system, reconfiguring the capital footprint to match needs, building the workforce of the future. In regards with that, the organization plan includes healthcare service plan, business plan, specific service plans, workforce strategy plans, financial plan, and asset strategic plan, health services plan. It focuses on working together, building healthy future till 2022, and mainly it focuses on the prevention, early detection, and treatment of diseases. And mainly it covers all the internal and external environment of the Iravala Sol Haven business plan. Uh, business plan involves Ministry of Health, uh, local health district and specialty networks. Uh, it ensures the coordination and articulation of plans along with the uh, local strategies. Specific plan, it includes um, Aboriginal health plans, smoking suggestion programs, maternity health services. Workforce strategy plan, it includes NSW workforce plans 2012 to 2022, youth employment policy and program, Aboriginal, um, Aboriginal workforce first plan uh, we will talk about the youth employment policy and programs um, it mainly focus on how to provide higher education and motivate the youth to uh, get uh, trainings and this is the table for policy program for the youth and financial plan it focuses on spending the funds according to the need of the community and as a strategic plan it is based on healthcare services plan and it fulfills the gap between the provider and the consumer. Um, in regards with the healthcare services, the main hindrance is the transportation for the transportation management. Ilavara Regional Transport Plan is uh, proposed, which aims to enhance its community to access jobs, goods, and services by improving and have get greater accessibility through the public transportation. These are the references. Mm, these are the references for the, this policy and planning. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jose and my topic is current and projected demographic profile for Ilawara Shul Haven Local Health District. This is the geographical location of the Ilawara Shul Haven Local Health District among the Metropolitan Local Health District. This is a map of the Ilawara Shul Haven showing the northern Ilawara, southern Ilawara Shul Haven and the uh, healthcare facilities like eight hospitals and the community health centers. The population among the Ilawara Shul Haven has increased uh, 30, by 38,000 from 2011 census to 2016, and it is estimated that it will increase by 425,000 by 2021. The population is increasing by 0.9, in the district is increasing by 0.9 percent, and that of the NSW, which is 1.1 percent. Among that, the Shulhaven has the highest increase in the population rate, which is around 14 percent in the 10 years period. This chart shows that the population distribution between the all the LHWs, uh, local health districts, and the Ilawara, including the Ilawara and Shulhaven, showing that the uh, males and female populations are nearly similar. The Ilawara and Shulhaven has a higher population residence of 75 years and older, uh, which is, tends to be increased by the, which is 8.5 percent. At the period and the, it just tends to be increased by the 32 percent in the 2021 and uh, the less than five years so be less than five years old children have a 6.6 percent and it is tend to increase by seven percent in the 2021 it shows that the females and males have females have a slight higher population than the males and the Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders have a 2.8 percent in the Ilamara and the 5.5 percent in the short even areas which was 4.7 percent during the 2011 census. 
it is documented that social isolation has impact on the result of the higher major health problems and this table shows that the population of 65 years and older living alone in the Elavara and should given areas socioeconomic index or areas or the Elavara Shulman population and at least in average is more disadvantaged most disadvantaged than the NSW population the median weekly income for the people uh, people aged 14 years and over has a, a slight uh, has a lower rate than the NSW and uh, Australia than in all the Elavara and Shulman uh, higher education uh, degrees in uh, both Ilavara and Shulman has a lower than the NSW in Australia. Uh, more than half of the population, I mean, both Ilavara and Shulman has uh, worked full time, and one third of the population in Ilavara and Shulman work part time, and nearly 7% of the population in both areas are unemployed. Uh, Mostly, uh, one uh, three fourth of the population in Ilawar and Shulgiban are born in the Australia, and the second most common uh, countries of birth is the England in both the districts. Occupational categories among the Ilawar and Ilawara district shows that the proportion has the highest, highest or employ employment, which is same as the New South Wales and Australia compared to the. Uh, Shoalhaven area, which has the technicians and trade workers, are the highest employment categories, followed by the community and professional personal workers, managers. And this is that's all for. Thank you. My topic is determinants of health in Illawarra district. According to WHO, health of an individual is determined by several combined factors, such as place where we live social relationships, physical environment, economical factors, education and behavior. These together are called as the determinants of health. Some of the determinants that influences the health of the Illawarra people are social gradient, education, support, exclusion, stress, employment, addiction and transportation. First is social gradient. According to composite socioeconomic index for areas, Illawarra district is more disadvantaged and suffer more as compared to New South Wales. This is because of the fact there is wide difference between the economic status of the population. And Shoalhaven residents are the most disadvantaged as compared to Shell Harbour and Wollongong. Therefore, greater the gap between the rich and the poor in a community, the greater is the difference in health. Second is education. In 2011, the proportion of population aged 15 years and over who opted for post-school qualification in Illawarra was 44%, which was quite lower as compared to New South Wales average. In this table, we can see that the level of education in Illawarra district is quite low and only 4% of the population opted for post-graduation degrees in 2016. Therefore, these become the barrier to obtaining the health services. Third is the social support and exclusion. About 45% of the elderly population is socially isolated in the Ilibara district. Similarly, the clad groups, because of their language barrier problems, they can't access the health facilities which are available in the district. And about 10,000 of the indigenous people residents in Illawarra are socially isolated as well. Next comes the stress. Stress-related mental health illnesses, suicide rates, self-initiated harm rates are being increasing at an alarming rate in the district. And the reason responsible for the stress could be lack of support, social isolation, community barriers, unemployment and social gradient. In this graph, it is seen that the level of stress are constant from year 2003 up to 2017. No improvements in the level of stress have been seen since then. Next is the unemployment. Although Illawarra district is known for its tourism industry, but some regions of the district, they lack long-term employment rates. And Illawarra region shows the unemployment rate of 6.8% as compared to national unemployment rate of 53 and New South Wales at 5.1%. 
since the region is quite diverse unemployment rate varies with the shell harbor at the highest percentage of 7.8 followed by wulongong and kiama then is the addiction as compared to new south wales as a whole the risk of the hospitalization due to the alcohol attributable condition is high in sholhaven and kiama and also the number of the current smokers is high in the district as compared to new south wales average last is the transportation because of the geography of the area limited public as well as private transportation it limits the access to the health services therefore the vulnerable communities such as the higher socio economic disadvantaged people disabled and the older people can't access the health services and these determinants of the health the influences the health and the lifestyle of the illiwara population thank you hello everyone i'm brinda kaneria and i'm going to explain burden of disease in illawarra soul heaven local health district major burden of disease in illawarra soul heaven area are mental disease conditions cardiovascular diseases maternal illness digestive disorder renal pathology and dialysis nervous disorder injury and poisoning and many more it can also be seen in the graph now burden of mental illness in soul heaven area has higher prevalence of mental illness compared to other part of illawarra soul heaven and it is also higher than nsw and rest of australia mental illness and suicide rate suicide rate due to mental illness has been decreased in last 2 to 3 year, years but still it is higher compared to rest of the nsw now dementia in old age maximum growing age group in in this age, uh, in this local health district is 65 year or more older and age related dementia is also higher compared to nsw now chronic disease conditions in illawarra soul heaven area we can say 64% of total population are classified at uh, classified with obesity or overweight even 23% of people have high cholesterol level not only this but 32% of people have high blood pressure level even 11.8% of people have diabetes and smoking rate is also higher in this district compared to other now circulatory disease conditions and hospitalization cardiovascular disease is considered as a major cause of hospitalization in this district now coronary heart disease condition is uh, more significantly prevalent in this area and if we compare the other cardiovascular disease conditions then paroxysmal tachycardia varicose vein of lower extremities transient ischemic attack have comparatively lower prevalence rate than stroke atrial fibrillation and flutter heart failure and other remaining circulatory diseases now hospitalization for preventable conditions conditions like dental diseases copd that means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease condition cellulitis asthma uh, diabetic diabetic complication other conditions like angina iron deficiency anemia and many more can be prevent but maybe some health barriers or due to insufficient information it it increase the burden of preventable disease conditions now if we focus on the life expectancy of this area then life expectancy of female at birth is 85 years and uh, for male it is 78 to 80 years and that is gradually increased in this year of 2016 compared to past and that is good sign and that's it thank you very much morbidity and mortality of lawara solaven local health district morbidity in order to track the health service facilities of any region morbidity of that particular region is very essential to plan and modify if necessary according to the data observed in 2011 and 12 within the samples taken in lawara the prevalence of chronic disease such as obesity hypertension and anxiety overruled the australian ace standardized disease prevalence which we can see from the figure above and also the cancer details on seven metropolitan health district where the data lies above than the 
average, as these charts indicate, that Elavara Solhaven has slight higher incidence rate than the average prevalence rate in Australia. Comparing the preventable conditions between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginals in Elavara from 2006 and 7, we can see overall the acute and chronic conditions are more in Aboriginal population than non-Aboriginal. However, increase in hospitalization for vaccine preventable conditions has resulted in fewer number of morbidity. According to the report of 2012, 97,020 were hospitalized in Lawara and were mostly admitted in public hospitals, out of which 52.1% were in Wollongong Hospital. Now coming to the next table where we can see the hospitalization chart. Here, the cardiovascular disease and diabetes saw a declined rate of hospitalizations, but the increasing are the respiratory and the cancers. So, during these years, the incidence rate of infectious disease such as typhoid, salmonella, pergesis, influenza, hepatitis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and so on of Illawarra has declined. Moving to the next topic, mortality. Monitoring and keeping the record of vital data of the public is of much importance, but the public health authorities in order to keep on pace with the health services and facilities that the country and its government provides. Now, there are many headings, so the mortality rates can be observed by the few are discussed over here. First, we come to the perinatal mortality, where we can see the data of the Lavara lies up than the average, and the data is more fluctuating than the rest of NSW, but at the present, it's declining. That's a good one. Suicide rate is very high in Lavara than comparison to the rest of NSW. Moving into the next two major causes, attributable causes, those are smoking and alcohol, where we can see the male has the highest incidence rate followed by female and that of the race of the average people. And also the leading causes of deaths, which we can see here in the left as a, from males and right from females, those are malignant neoplasm, mental disorders, circulatory diseases, respiratory and all this. And moving to the final slide of this topic, this from all causes, overall comparison from all LXD, we can see Ilavara lies in an average while comparing to the rest of the NSW. I'm Rajeshri Karka, and my topic is critical analysis of environmental scan. It's a vast topic, and uh, these are the topics I find relevant in this assignment. Hospital acquired infection in Ilavara Sloven. Um, hospital acquired infection is inversely proportional to the efficiency of um, health system. So uh, among this, I have selected healthcare associated Clostridium difficile infection, that's CACDI, and uh, the rate was 120 cases in 2013 to 2014 in Ilavara Slovan. So we can see that the length of stay increases by 11 days and the cost almost increases by 42% than uh, the normal average patient group. Mental health status is um, very important in this region because of the low socioeconomic population, high unemployment rate, and LGBT group. Um, therefore, we need really strategic plans in order to maintain the proper health system mentally. And um, this can be done through various activities, as mentioned. If we look into GP profile, that is a general practitioner workforce, we can see that male GP are approximately 20% more than female and approximately uh, and almost half of the population of GP are above 55 years. The other, uh, this graph also indicates that GP workforce is ruled by aging population. This table uh, of GP full-time equivalent per 100,000 population in 2012 indicates that Ilavara Sloven had a 68.1 FTE per 100,000 population, which is lesser than NSW state figure or Australian national figure. So there can be shortage of workforce. Um, if you look into the uh, pie chart of GP in Ilavara Sloven, we can see that GP of Wollongan Inner is more than six times higher than Kaima. Uh, whereas if we look into the nursing profile, Ama and Nora has the highest percentage as compared to other parts of Ilavara Sloven. This, this shows the imbalance of workforce in, in this region. Uh, English proficiency is another topic I found relevant because um, a large number of pe people are residing in Wollongong who cannot even speak or understand English. So this limits or constricts them in approaching GP and other health services facilities. Transportation, um, because 
um, this region has um, um, low, uh, poor geographic um, reason and a lack of public transportation. Um, uh, there are, uh, people are facing in a problem in accessing healthcare system. <coughs> Sorry, hospitalization causes. We can see that dialysis, circulatory disease, mental disorders, and respiratory diseases are most prominent chronic causes in hospitalization in this area. And um, we can see that the aboriginal group is much higher than the non-aboriginal non group in this uh, field. Lastly, um, we can see that indigenous residents are hospitalized more than two times than non-native for diseases which could have been prevented. Um, so these are the things and issues I think that needs to be considered for betterment of health services, facilities, and its planning. Here are the references and Thank you.